uh, here's, um, here's one of the objections that uh, Rabbi Singer raises. Because Levin's talking about. Okay, there's not. Okay, what we're doing is we are not going to take some amorphic text and then apply them to texts that are graphic. What we do is we take texts that are in. This is the most basic principle. We take texts that are in the light that are clear, and we we then understand ambiguous texts, not the other way. That's how cults start by going the wrong direction. So what we do is we look at the Bible and we ask ourselves the question. We look at Isaiah chapter 11. Which, which, which Dr. Craig Evans brought up, but he's right, it is talking about the Messiah. But what does Isaiah chapter 11 tell us about? Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1, tells us it's from the shoot of Jesse, but verse 2, how does it end? It's talking about the Messiah. Everyone agrees. That's critical here. We don't disagree it's talking about Mashiach. You know how it ends? It ends with saying, and he will fear the Lord. Fear the Lord? You're just telling me that the Lord fears himself? Does God fear anything? And now, now, there's, the, actually we do two objections, I just realized. He's going to fear the Lord. Yeah. If you're the God man, you are not going to fear the Lord. You're going to be an atheist. You're, you're going to, you're going to break God's law. What does Isaiah chapter 11 tell us about? Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1, tells us it's from the shoot of Jesse. But verse 2, how does it end? It's talking about the Messiah. Everyone agrees. That's critical here. We don't disagree. It's talking about Mashiach. You know how it ends? It ends with saying, and he will fear the Lord. Fear the Lord? You're just telling me that the Lord fears himself? Does God fear anything? And how does verse 3 of Isaiah 11 begin? He will be filled with the fear of God. Why would God fear himself? But what does the Bible say? See, Scripture says in... Uh, in the book of Numbers, it's in the, it's in the Torah, that God is not a man. Now, what do I do as a Jew? I've got a Bible on one side that says that God isn't a man, and I've got Jews for Jesus screaming that, uh, he, that God is a man and we should worship him. We have Isaiah chapter 11, which everyone agrees is talking about the Messiah, and it describes in verse 2 and 3 that the Messiah will fear God. I, I want to say that again because I want to make sure everybody on Interstate 70 can hear that. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2 and 3, that the Messiah will literally fear God. Now, why would God fear God? So, what really, it's very important, you know, we can have a discussion of what I believe, or what Jan believes, or what Moish Rosen believes, or what, what, what your tech believes, but the question is, what, does, what is God's opinion? Oh, well, and that's what we ask in Judaism.